Hi everyone, Amy Kennedy here, ceramic artist from Melbourne, Australia. I hope this video tip today gives you some insight into how you can potentially get a little bit more of an edge in an application process or a project proposal. You're pitching something, you're going for an opportunity. I think every little bit adds up in these things. And the reason that I think this can give you a bit of an edge is because most people don't do it, in my experience, or they don't do it enough. And what this basically comes down to is stepping outside of yourself. And I wanted to talk about this and demonstrate this through examples, uh, quite a few examples of the artists that I'm working with in my programs. Example number one, I'm working with an artist in the International Artist Program. We're looking at an awesome residency. We're up to session two, which is dissecting the application. And we notice that it says, this residency comes underneath the arts and cultural strategy of da 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 and we're looking at it and we're like ding 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 this is a really good sign this or this is a really good information she's going to go and read that arts and cultural strategy and see what it says and bring that back in to her residency application so she's stepping outside of herself for a while to look at that information an artist that's just finished in the international artist program with me uh, submitted a grant recently and she took the initiative to look at the past uh, winners of uh, past people who've been awarded grants in that category and she was specifically looking at the amount of money that had been awarded often in these grants they'll award this huge um, gap of money from like five thousand dollars to sixty thousand dollars and it's like it's sort of you sort of have to ask yourself the question well where do I fit in there what do I need but what is also realistic that's going to be awarded to me potentially and so she looked at this and it gave her a lot a lot more of a clearer idea of what is reasonable or realistic to request another artist in the international artist program is in the thick she's nearly finished she's in the thick of writing the project description the work plan for her residency and we just had a little chat the other day and i mentioned go back to the website and have another look at their mission statement or their vision statement read it just let it percolate absorb it and then come back to your writing and it might just give you a little bit more insight into what you might want to put or, or tweak in the application now she's already done this she's already done a whole research about this through the whole website but it's another thing to go back again to it then come back to your writing and then maybe have another look and then come back to your writing i think this is a, a key point of what what i'm trying to explain here and another artist, she's in the Evolve program. She's pitching an exhibition to a few different venues. And we talked about how it can be really useful to look at that venue or that organization's goals or aims or, um, uh, you know, their, their mission statement, their, um, their documentation to see how her exhibition can fit into what their aims are for the year or what their themes are for the year. I think this is really important. And another artist in the Evolve program is putting forth an application for an exhibition competition that has a specific theme. And we were talking about how it can be really useful to just put your work and the application aside and research that theme, see where it leads, enjoy the research and not to be too uh, thinking too much that this research has to lead me to something, some amazing, uh, profound connection, but just to research it and soak it up, absorb it and see where that trail might lead and then bring that back to her idea and her application. So I hope these sort of spark some ideas for you. And I really wanted to say here, you know, doing this isn't going to guarantee that you're going to be successful to get the thing that you desire. But like I said at the start, I think it's all these little things that add up. And these are little things that often many people don't do. They'll neglect or they'll get so focused in on their own part of the application, they don't step outside and look at this other stuff. Or they read this stuff at the beginning, but they don't go back to it enough. And I really see it's a bit of a, a, a rhythm. You know, you're in your work, your application, your ideas, your focus, your outcomes, and then you move outside. You get a bigger picture, more context, more insight. Absorb that, bring that back into your writing. And then you might want to go and have another look and then come back in. I think this is really good too because it gives you a bit of relief from yourself and your ideas and we need a break from that too so this is a process that i use this is a process that i you know recommend more and more to the artists in my programs 
I hope that it's useful for you. Um, I hope that it's just another thing that you might consider and add in. If you really, really want the thing that you're going for, a lot of people fly by the seat of their pants in this stuff. And sometimes that works, but I think that only works for a small percentage. If you really, really, really want the thing that you're applying for, we really, really, really need to tick all the boxes and do whatever we can to put the best, to put our best application forward. So I hope this is useful for you. If you have any questions about that, please let me know. Thank you for listening. And thank you to all these artists and the other artists in my programs, because I love doing this work with them and they give me great ammunition for these videos. So, um, but a real big thank you to them because I get so much from it. I learn so much and I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. So um, thank you so much. I'll see you next week.